watu wanapotesa baraka yao kwa njia gani njia ya kwanza ya kupoteza baraka ni wakati unaruhusu watu wanasikia siri za maisha yako that's how you lose if people can overhear baraka sio kitu cha cha kupiga piga mdomo you keep quiet if you want to know that i'm telling the truth esa eso ama esau aliangaika kwa sababu mama yake alisikia akiambiwa anakwenda kubarikiwa na kwa kule kusikia aka change plan the people that you share your plans with are the same people that change your plan they take your blessing they take your shop they take alo do you know kuna watu naesambia hata huyu mwanamke ndiye anakwenda kuoa baada ya before one year ameshamuoa shida sio huyo mtu ambaye amemuoa shida ni wewe uliongea haraka be slow to share your secrets wacha watu wafikirie wamekuchua the entire of you but you know that they don't know much about you hi hi it's only a fool that can allow neighbors to offer here the secrets they discuss if you want to lose so quickly kwa ni mtu wa kushare haraka haraka and that is how you lose it haraka haraka see why don't you allow it to mature kwa nini usiruhusu hiyo baraka itimie kwanza That is what happened in Genesis 27. But mtu alikuwa anaenda kubarikiwa. Ndio akushare na mtu. Lakini hiyo siku yake na masaa ya kubarikiwa ilisikika na mtu mwingine. Na sio mtu wa mbali, ni mtu wa ukoo tena mama yake. Hello? <laughs> Hata naonaga watoto wanataka kufanya harusi. Wanaenda kuambia mahango zao, maybe mama, baba yako alikufa, ango yako ndio amepaki. Sasa o, mama yako anakuambia kama unaenda kufanya harusi, ambia basi ndugu za baba yako wako hapa. Mimi siko kwa hiyo laini. Unaambia ndugu ya baba yako ambaye wasichana wake hawajaoiolewa, watoto vijana wake hawajaoioa, mtapaki wote hapo hapo, atakuroga. You people can never have a future if you are too quick to share before it matures. Keep it. Maintain some secrets within yourself. Kitu kingine kinafanya watu wanapoteza baraka, it is number two, delaying to act in time. Kuchelewa kuchukua hatua kwa wakati uliofa. Ndio maana wanapoteza baraka. Umeenda umeenda kwa kanju, umeangaika, unatafuta nafasi ya kuanika nguo, umeanza biashara, wamekuwa wame roketi kwamba sehemu yako sasa itakuwa ni hapa na hapa. Then you go for two weeks. Kwa maana ulionyeshwa hiyo sehemu na mtu alikuonyesha ni mkuu wa serikali. Sasa unafikiria haitaenda. By the time unarudi utakuta mtu mwingine amekuwa roketed utaingia kwenye kelele nilikuwa roketi itatakwambia wakati nilikuja hapa hakukuwa na mtu unapewa sehemu uweke kioski unaingangania before you are ready by the time unakuwa ready hiyo sehemu imepewa mtu mwingine Esau sio kwamba hakutaka baraka aliambiwa baraka ni yako lakini nenda ulete mbuzi and he went for the whole day alienda akachelewa huko kama mtu anakuambia mnafaa kuoana Hizi stories zingine zote kama uko tayari mwambie niko tayari Hizi stories zingine zote nimemaliza degree waja kwanza nimalize masters mm. By the time unarudi na masters 
Na hii yako na masters hapa kako two years Kananda Academy. Kanaitwa master, master. Who is waiting for you? Which blessing is waiting for you? Every person that is seeking for a blessing must be accurate and act fast. Hakuna baraka inasubiri mtu, baraka tunaitafuta kwa wakati. Na tunachukua hatua kwa wakati, hata kama ni kazi ulikuwa unaachiliwa. By the time unakuja, utakuta kuna mtu mwingine. Maana hakuna kazi yako kwa hii dunia haitinakusubiri wewe tu. Hapana. Opportunity is available for anybody willing. If you are ready and accurate, you have it. Ati mimi niliambia huyo huyo boy aningoje ni Marisa Masters. <laughs> Akunguje. <laughs> Ukianza kusikia ameanza mambo mengine unaanza basi kwa hapo ndio unaanza kutafuta pasta. Pasta mimi nataka unione kama huyu ni ukweli wa Yesu. Nikuuliza kwa nini unafikiria sio wa Yesu? Mimi nimekuwa marafiki kwa muda gani? Tumekuwa marafiki for 2 years lakini tulikubaliana aningoje nikimaliza masters alafu nipate the job ndio nisiende kuangaika eh. Takwambia nitakuombea you must be under you must be able to understand that there is nothing that waits for anybody there's nothing that waits for you hata kama ni tender kama imekuja kwa wakati imekuja kwa wakati it doesn't wait for you it doesn't wait for you it will go by the time you arrive it is gone kama ni promotion na imekuja leo iendee leo maana ukichelewa watu wengine watakuwa promoted na by the time unakuja utaambiwa tulikuwa tuna promote watu watano utaangojea next time Kata wale watoto wanataka kwenda shule you, you have to go now Kama ni college nenda sasa wacha kuniangaisha hapa ni pastor niombe ni nataka kujoin ni college uko na admission sichaanza kutafuta I don't do those kind of things au hata barua What am I praying for? Au chanza hata kufanya application. So what are we praying for? If you believe this is your right time to join college, the blessing of school fees which is available is for that particular time. Then you have to take action within time. That is how you secure your opportunity. Opportunities are secured when we act faster. Nothing waits for you. Just understand. Njia ya tatu ya kupoteza muujiza it is sleeping while the enemy is awake. Ni kulala adui akiwa macho. Avoid ayo mambo matatu. Mambo hayo yaangalie sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ndio maana mimi naambia watu. Kama unataka kuchenga na unasikia ndani yako ni sasa. Chukua hatua, ansa sasa. Kuna baraka ya wakati huo. Kama ni ni baraka ya kuchenga inapita kwenye eneo hilo. Na wewe hauko tayari unaendelea kusema nitakuja kufanya. Watu wengine watafanya. That blessing will be in use while wewe hautakuwa nayo. Lasima uchukue hatua at the right time. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So you really have to consider these three things. Number one, usiruhusu watu kusikia siri za baraka yako off your off your. That's very important. Number two, usichelewe wala kucherewesha chochote. Usichelewe kuchukua hatua kwa wakati unaofaa. Never allow delay. Act in time. And number three, usilale. Never sleep because those who are looking for what you have, they never sleep. 